friends, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about shapes. We're going to talk about two different kinds of shapes. And we have flat shapes, which are 2D shapes that we've already learned about. And then we have something brand new, which are called solid shapes or three-dimensional shapes. So we're going to start with our flat shapes that we've learned about already. So if I take a look at these pictures, I want you to tell me if you know some of these shapes. I want you to see if you can name these shapes. Let's take a look at this one. This is a square. Good. This is a circle. This is a hexagon. This is a triangle. And this is a rectangle. And when we look at shapes, we've talked a little bit about the sides of the shapes, the corners of the shapes, and if our shapes have equal length. If I take a look at my square and I want to know how many sides it has, I'm going to draw on it. And let's see if we can count together. Ready? One, two, three, four. So my square has four sides. Does anyone know what else is special about a square? Does anyone know what all four sides of the square are? They're equal in length, awesome. If I take a look at my circle, does my circle have any sides? No. Let's take a look at my hexagon. If I look for the corners, I'm going to be looking for the parts that are Point it. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six corners. And then my triangle has how many sides, friends? Three. One, two, three. It also has one two, three corners. Now, if I take a look at my rectangle, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four sides, and one, two, three, four corners. But are all of the sides of my rectangle equal length or the same? No. So those are my flat shapes or my two-dimensional shapes. We're going to talk now about our 3D shapes or our solid shapes. And I showed you the shape and I also showed you an example of what it may look like as something in real life. So what is a 3D shape or a solid shape? And a shape that goes in all different directions or they take up space. I can hold them in my hand and they take up space. It has depth to it. I can, a lot of times, there's something inside of it or I can put something inside of it. It takes up space, okay? So this is a cylinder. Can you say cylinder? So a cylinder, if I look at a can of soup, that is the shape of a cylinder. And it takes up space, right? Inside my can, there's a bunch of soup. Okay, this next shape that I have is a cone. Can you say cone? It's a cone, just like an ice cream cone. And what do we put inside of our ice cream cone? Good, we fill it with ice cream. We can put something inside and this shape takes up space. 
if I look over here at my sphere, okay? It kind of looks like a circle, but it takes up space. And I put a basketball is shaped like a sphere. And inside that basketball, there's air. There's something inside of it that takes up space. And my last shape is a cube. And a cube, again, kind of looks like a square, but it is 3D or solid and it can take up space. Something can be inside of it, just like a birthday present. That box can have a present inside for us. So those are 3D shapes. They're not like our 2D shapes because they can take up space, okay? So those are our shapes. And we are gonna practice more with them. But can you tell me these are called, one more time, solid shapes or 3D shapes? And our other shapes are called flat shapes or 2D shapes. Now, we're also going to take a look at our math page for today. So if we go to Seesaw, where all of our math pages are now, you will see that we are working on Math Day 22, the front and the back. And remember, when I go to do my work on Seesaw, I can click Add Response, and it will bring me to the worksheet. So if I take a look, I'm gonna read my directions first because that's always what I do. It says, look at each shape, write the number of straight sides. So this is a little bit of what we just did of the sides. So does anyone remember how many sides does a square have? Good, four. So I'm going to write a number four and you're going to do the others. The next part says, look at each shape, write the number of corners. So remember these points are the corners. And the last part says, ring the shape that has four sides of equal length. So I want you to try to do that on your own. And remember, when we're done, we're gonna click the green check mark. I also found out if you wanted to print the page, you can go to add page and you can upload a picture of your math page in this space if you wanted to print it out instead of writing on this first page. And we're gonna hit the green check mark to tell me that I am done. And then I will see that I have my first page and my second page if I want to. Let's take a look at the other activity. So we need to look at the back page. I'm gonna click again, add response, and I'm going to take a look at my math page. So this is where it talks a little bit about the flat shapes and the solid shapes. So if you need to go back to the beginning of the video to look at what flat shapes are and what solid shapes are, that is a good idea. The directions say, look at each shape. Ring, we know also means circle, the flat shapes. Mark an X on the solid shapes. So remember, our flat shapes are our regular shapes that we're used to. They don't take up space. They're not 3D. And our solid shapes, boys and girls, remember, are those 3D shapes that take up space. So you can tell that these are my 3D shapes. So I'm going to circle or put an X, I'm sorry, because we're putting an X on the solid shapes on my sphere. And I'm going to put an X. And then the check your understanding is explain the difference between these two shapes. So why are they different? See if you can tell someone. And again, remember, if you decided that you wanted to print this page instead of do it, you can click add page and upload or take a photo of the page and click the check mark. Okay, boys and girls, so that's your math for today, and then I will be able to check it once it's uploaded. Try your best, and we will practice more with those 2D and 3D shapes.